Hi, I'm John Steckley, Principal at Northmont Middle School. Here to talk a little bit about aspirations and, and how that's affected us here. One of the things about aspirations is it, it, it's not really a program, it, it's more of just a philosophy, just a way of thinking, which can be difficult when you, you first start to get your head wrapped around about what it is that you're supposed to be doing, what direction you're supposed to be going, and the thing of it is, it's up to you to determine that direction. Uh, here at the middle school, the thing that I've noticed in, in the last uh, year and a half that we've been doing this is I see teachers who, you know, teachers are always looking to improve and get better. But what I see is a lot more of them, instead of, uh, you know, looking at research and, and, and talking to other teachers, which they're still doing, but they're talking to the kids. They're talking to the kids in their classroom and saying, hey, what can I do better? What did you think about that lesson? What did you think about these things? And, and they're, they're getting that feedback from kids which, you know, is proving to be very useful. And the, the byproduct of that is the kids feel like they have the ability to start giving opinions, start giving information to us that we've been able to take and use and, and to make some changes. And it's not an overnight process. It, it takes time. And we're still right in the middle of, of doing those things. But I think in, in this last year and a half, we've started to pick up momentum and started to pick up on some of the ideas that the kids have had and the teachers have gone from the kids, and, and it's really kind of an exciting time to see, you know, where we're going with this. So I, I hope we continue, and I, I can't wait to see uh, how it all turns out. Hi, I'm Mindy Hoover. I am in the middle school, and I have been on the Aspirations team since it started here at Northmont. It's been a pleasure to get to know how this um, Aspiration teams works. It, it's been a long haul. Um, the best thing for me or the most useful thing is that I know my class survey. It's very helpful to see how the kids feel about you as an individual teacher and it gives you some ways to get them to open up and let you know things that you can improve in your classroom and make them a part of it. I'm Hilly Jones and yesterday I talked to Chase the Daily Head of the Cafeteria. We discussed healthier lunches and a salad bar. I'm Anna Carver and I also talked to Chris Haley with Haley and we decided that healthier food is definitely a good thing to have and also we decided that water should also be a choice with our, with our lunches, not just milk because water is healthier and cheaper and it's really good for your bodies. When we discussed this, our student voice was heard in the cafeteria. The lunches are getting better and better by day and we're hoping that by the end of the year we'll have very healthy lunches and that we'll all make a better, better choice for our bodies. They don't have good nutrition in our food. My name is Holly Day and I am a teacher here at the, at the middle school and this is my first year on the aspirations committee and this year um, we are doing something new with our students because every year during breast cancer awareness month we do a lot of different activities and one of the activities that we've always done is a door decorating contest between targets and the um, voting committee is based on a panel of judges of adults and so it's always been said by our students that they wish that they could participate in the voting since they spend so much time creating doors. So this year through Aspirations we have chosen the Student Choice Award so that our students will have a voice. At a Student Aspirations meeting we decided to come up with a suggestion box. All the students and Aspirations kids agreed to have a suggestion box in every social studies room on every team. The student aspiration people are responsible for checking all the suggestions and the ridiculous ones will throw away. And we will take the rest of the suggestions to the teachers at a meeting every two weeks. Hi, I'm Kelly Sells. I'm one of the counselors here at Northmont Middle School. It's my first year and um, I was aware the middle school students took a student voice survey last year at the end of the year for aspirations and I am on the committee I think it's awesome and one of the things addressed in the student voice survey was that bullying really is an issue here at Northmont Middle School so we made it our goal this year to really try to touch on bullying we want to raise awareness about what bullying is and the whole month of September we dedicated to raising awareness about bullying uh, letting students know what adults they can reach out to for help and also how to stand up for themselves if they are a victim of bullying or if they see it going on to other people. Hi, I'm Janet Ferguson. I'm also one of the counselors at the middle school and I've 
been fortunate to be a part of the Aspirations team ever since we started here at Northmont. So it's been phenomenal to watch our growth as we've gone through this process. And we created this bulletin board to stomp out bullying and we just want to keep the topic of bullying in the kids' minds so that they are aware of their own behavior and uh, the behavior of others. Another thing we did is we put a bully box right around the corner from our office and there are forms taped above it that students can take and they can also get forms from their teachers if they see bullying happening here at school. And we have had quite a few students use the box and it's been great. We've done mediations with this and just addressed students' concerns and talked with other students about the fact that they are perceived as a bully and how they can change their behavior. So it's been really effective here. Hi, I'm Ryan Pullins, and this is going to be our, our Aspirations Board for Student Voices. And we're going to have all the pictures of the Aspirations kids up there so that students know who they can talk to if they want their voice to be heard. Hi, I'm Amy Kinsler. Um, this is my second year on the Aspirations team. I teach 7th and 8th grade math, actually, for Team Optimism. And um, I, got, I was put in charge of putting together a volleyball um, tournament for our, both our 7th and 8th grade teams. Um, basically, this, we heard this from the students. They're they are tired of being isolated by just teams because, you know, everybody's put on a pod where they're in 150 kids uh, per team, and, and they're tired of doing that. They wanted more team interaction, so and also fun and excitement because obviously volleyball is, is definitely some fun and excitement. So during our 20-minute target, we decided that we're going to put together a volleyball tournament, so I made up a 7th grade schedule and an 8th grade schedule. There'll be 17 games, so 17 days we'll be playing a 7th grade team and an 8th grade team. The targets will be playing back and forth, and um, the winner will move on to the next round, obviously. And at the very end, right before we leave for break, um, the very end we're going to have a, a final game. The teams will win. We'll have a 7th grade winner and an 8th grade winner. And when we come back from break, those 7th and 8th grade winners will be able to um, play a teacher's team. And then the whole school will be invited to watch those two games. So I think it's going to be really exciting. The kids are excited about it. I know some of my targets I've talked to extremely excited, and I think, I think it'll be a really good time, and I think we've incorporated some fun and excitement, and we've also listened to what the kids wanted to do because they're, they're ready for some team interaction, get some different targets in and different teachers, and, and see who everybody is since they're just stuck on one team all the time. I think it'll be fun. I'm Brooke. I'm Malcolm. And I'm Drew. And we, we are, are web, web leaders. leaders. Web stands for where everybody belongs. There are 75 eighth grade web leaders at our school. We are some of the leaders at our school. We were trained two days during the summer in order to be a part of 7th grade orientation. We learned activities to help the 7th graders feel more comfortable at the school. But that is not all. We meet with our 7th grade groups throughout the year to learn things like helping them with their problems, teaching them to be successful in school and life, and just being positive role models. Web and aspirations are closely related. They both incorporate some of the same eight conditions, such as belonging, heroes, and sense of accomplishment. We are happy to be the change we want to see.